Hi guys and gals, I'm getting ready to go out to the range. It's Sunday morning, the 23rd of July. An old friend of ours come up, they come, him and his wife come up for the weekend. So him and I are going to go out to the range and we're going to turn the camera on, shoot some guns, shoot some BS. It's going to be unedited. I mean, there's going to be parts of it, mag loading, stuff like that. Maybe a little boring, but just kind of hang with us. We're trying something a little bit different today. And see how it works out. It's just uh, unedited. just going to be just a video. So if you would, appreciate a like, subscribe, and bell notification. Comments welcome. Share is definitely welcome. Thanks for watching. God bless America and our armed forces past and present. And enjoy the video. Bottom of the target. They see it. You're shooting a little bit low, I think, Don. Huh? You're shooting a little bit low, I think. Yeah. There you go. Almost dead center. Just clip the left hand side a little low. Pinches my finger through here. Oh, yeah? You know, the best way to do that, to re-unload that then, hold it up like that. Yeah, she's, she's hanging up on... Um, hold it up on an angle, that way they come out easier. Mm -hmm. They got a little kick to them. Well, yeah, I see a 125 grain jacketed hollow, jacketed soft point. That's, that's a pretty stiff little load. It's, yeah, it's factory. Yeah. I, I, I had some reloads, I should have brought them. Shoot some of them reloads of mine. Yeah, this has got quite a They're kick. cheaper. <laughs> huh? They're cheaper. Well, it's not that they're cheaper. Yeah, I don't shoot factory enough anymore other than defensive loads. Wasting that ammo. Almost dead center. Can I see it? I pull that. Just above that one. This guy kicks. Oh yeah, Snub Nose has got some punch to him. I think that was five. It kicks. I'm not going to shoot it anymore. I'll put a few rounds to it. Okay. 
the ticket. Smith and Wesson Pro, yeah, Performance Center. 38 Special, Snubby, Plus P, yeah. have a little thump to it, don't it? Huh? It does have some kick to it, don't it? Yes, it does. Probably because of that light cylinder. It does have some kick to it. More than I like. And this is this guy that they redone. The sassy. Yeah, we'll try that out here in a second here. Right over the top. Yeah. Definitely got some pop to it. Pardon? It's definitely got some pop to it. It's got, it kicks more than I expected. Well, that's so light. That, Probably a titanium cylinder it on is, there. It is a titanium. Yeah, yeah, that's why. Yeah. If it was steel, it wouldn't well, kick quite as bad. It's not a gun to fun shoot. <laughs> At least we know it shoots, right? Huh? At least we know it shoots, right? Yeah, it, it shoots, but it's not a fun, sh fun shoot. All right, this is a Psy Gen 1. We had it out here a couple years ago and it was a jam -o -matic. Well, he recently got it back from uh, Psy, so we're going to. I resend it back to the, fil to the factory. Yeah, so we're going to uh, see how she works today. Yeah, yeah. You can see the throat. There's, it looks like a brand new throat there. Hey, they might have polished it too, yeah. Give her a whirl, see if she works any better. Now this is going to kick. The hangover. It hung up. Did it? Oh wait, oh the hindo. No. Oh, I only had three shots in there. Okay, good. Oh she's empty. Thought it had more in there. There's probably just three rounds in there. Center windage right at the top. Almost same spot. There you go. Huh? There you go. It's got a long, strong, a long trigger pull. Yeah, it's a double. 
reloads in it. We'll pick them up when we get done, Don. Okay, I'll just see where they went. You feel the long trigger pull? Yeah. It's a long, long double action. Huh? It's a long double. How many does it hold? A ten. Okay, let's do a mag dump. See how it does on all ten of them. I know the last time we had it out here, this thing wouldn't feed anything. Oh, it, no, it's, no. That's 10. Uh, we'll try mm -hmm. to see if we can get one more in here. You can get 10 in there? Nope, it's got 10 in it. Alright, let's try a mag dump. Fire them all. Fire them all. Fire them all. That's good. That's what we wanted. They say that Sai's got one heck of a service. Uh, huh? They say that Sky or Sai, however you pronounce that, S C C Y, they've got a. They back up everything they. Well, it, it they went, make. So. When, it, when it when it went when it went bad the last time, I had it for a couple a long a while. Well, last time we shot it was before COVID. And before I sent it back to the yeah. doctor, I thought, well, this is a good time. COVID. What's a good time to send it? Yeah, that's... Is them factory or reloads? Uh, reloads. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Where should yeah, throw the brass at? magazine and it, it, no hang-ups. It did that time. Yeah. Through the brass all the way over here. Man, it threw the brass over here probably 10, 12 feet. Well, that's pretty good. What's your call? It used to, uh, the CZ used to throw the brass quite a long way. I like, them more, I like them when they drop them right at your feet. <laughs> Thank God for these things for us old guys, ain't it? Yeah, I'm not sure where you're thinking that. I got them all. Oh, you got them all? Yeah, they're all over, over in this area. That one's mine. That one's mine. That one's yours. Mine. Yours. Mine. Yours, mine, 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 yours, mine, yours, mine. Well, that's good that they got it fixed for you. Uh, yeah. You you'd say that it's in pretty good shape then. Well, try a couple more mags through it, and it's just. I put 10, 15, 18 through it, okay. and you put 6 through it, so that's 24. Just I'm having trouble loading. I brought my thing, but it, it, I don't skip. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. You 
get to a gun shop, get you an, a Pula, it's called. I have a Pula, but I didn't bring it. Oh, okay, well, yeah. we I got mean, one. No, I got one at home. Those things are the cat's butt there. You set it down on your table and just get the hang of it here. Yeah, just like that. And you put the shell in there? Yeah, the best way to do it, Don, I found is... Uh, there's, I think there's six in here. I need to be, I need four more. The low that I'll go forward. God, I'm nervous this morning. Pardon? My hands are shaking this morning. Well. Which ain't nothing new. I need to start learning to shoot left-handed. Because it don't shake in the left hand, but this right hand just crazy. Oh, bullseye shooter here. Just clip the left side. There you go. There you go. Dead center. You couldn't have centered it any better than that one. A little low left. center heck yeah so that's 10 that's 24 that's, that's 34 that we've put through it pardon that's 34 rounds we put through it without a hiccup yeah there's your another mag Heck yeah! I think they got it, Don. Huh? I think they got it. Yeah, good. This is the only one to come back here. <laughs> I didn't bring my other, I have another 380. I didn't bring that. It's, um, it's a Smith & Wesson. Easy slide. Oh yeah, those are nice. I've been yes. wanting to get one of them for Marlis or something like that. Uh, Ruger's come out with a, one like now. It's called a Ruger Security 380. It's a little bit bigger than this one. Yeah, but 380 is a, it's a eyeball shell. I don't have any. You got any 380 shells with you? You bring any 380 ammo with you? No. Oh. No. So like I said, I'd let you shoot this one. I forgot to bring some 380. I don't like the trigger pull on this thing, it's too long. Oh, it's okay. Okay. Shoot, you got steadier nerves at 86 and I got it at 74. I don't know what you mean. Your hands, they wouldn't sh get shooting one-handed like that. I that's pretty dang steady. You didn't miss but one or two. How many did you shoot? One, two, three, four, oh. five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve, fourteen. 12, 12, 14. That's what you shot, wasn't it? I shot 14. Right about that. Okay. Cool. So that was... So it looks like they I got her fixed. My, uh, my s &W, easy slide. It's a lot easier to go load 
Uh, it's a lot oh, the slide works good on them. The tiger pull is a lot better. That's what they made them for. Okay, I'm going to try this thing left-handed. Yeah, with this shaky right hand, I might have to go left-handed. I don't know. Well, that trigger is kind of goofy, ain't it? I nicked it. Yeah, I did two out of three with my left hand. See them more laying around here. I got some 45s I want to shoot from a new load that a friend sent me some bullets. I want to shoot a few of them and see what it does. So what do you shoot with the 45? What do you have? That 1911. Oh, oh, it's got a military 1911? You had that a while? Oh, you've seen it. Yeah, it, I've had that a long time. What does that do, mate? Is that like give you another target shoot? Huh? That gives you another shoot? Yeah, it's just cleaner because I want to see where these are shooting at. That's a pretty nice thing. Yeah, I built a setup for a friend of mine that comes up here because he's got a home range and he, uh -huh. he lives over by National City. And uh, I built him a setup like this. Okay. Shoot the gun. Okay, where's him at? Okay. There's a guy in California, he's a bullet catcher. He sent me some, uh, it's off an M&P mold, cast and uh, powder coated. This is a normal load I use in all my, all my loads, I want to try uh -huh. it. But this is a semi wide cutter, I'm not sure how okay. reliable this thing's going to be. Who made the gun? Oh, Springfield. Oh, it's a Springfield. Oh, I've had that. You shot it out there at the Fortune Club. Did it come with this grips? No, I put that on there. Okay. The Collier Gun Girls, a YouTube channel, they sent me that. It had wood grips on it. Okay. But they sent that to me. Yeah, I gotta get on the, on that revolver. I gotta try reloads and see if it's because they're they're not as fully as fact. This is factory loads. Try three grains of two number two. I'm not sure what's right now. I'm not sure what's in my reloads, but they're not hot. These things are hot. Oh yeah, they're factory loads. They're they're defensive ammo. They, they uh, keep them for your bedside gun if you want to. Yeah. Because that it pinched basically the tip of my finger right there. That's what I did. You want your new thing here? No, I don't need it. These are 198 grain uh, M&P mold that uh, Diego sent me. So 
So let's try them out. Okay, we're good. That okay. That's a good group. Yeah, I fired them okay. Here, fire these last five off. I didn't load up a whole bunch, so I think this is five grains of 231. I use this on everything in this thing, and it seems to shoot it pretty doggone good. But these have a small pistol primer, which don't make a whole lot of difference. You can shoot it from over there if you want to. Huh? Okay, shoot it from over there. I mean, if I rested it, they'd probably group better, but I just want to make sure they function okay. Center. That really touches, boy. One more. One more, I think. Dead center. That's Dang, you're supposed to shoot the gun better than me. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I shot it. <laughs> Cool. Well, I know that load works good. I think that came down on the table. I'll have to load some more up and bench and put it off a bench. See what the group size is. That's got a nice trigger to it. Oh yeah. Just you can't beat a 1911 for triggers. Plus, I shoot it better. I shoot it better than any gun I got. Other than the he how heavy it is. What spring? The trigger pull? I mean the whole gun. I don't know how heavy the whole gun is, but trigger pull is about a little over four pounds. There's, there's, no, uh, there's no movement on it. I mean, it's there. No, it's there. When it's it, there. When it goes, it goes. Yeah. It ain't like the polymer guns where you got all that take up in it. Oh, another one over here. The nine. One of my, uh, 